Oh, Aries, I have a quick daily read for you. Um, I'm going to use three different decks so we can put triple emphasis on the spiritual message. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. We're all on different life paths, so we look for what resonates and what doesn't resonate, we leave at the door. If it resonates, please give me a like, a subscribe, or leave a comment. Uh, we're going to get straight into it. Um, I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day. The readings usually go for about 8 to 15 minutes. Beautiful. That's embracing that beautiful Queen of uh, Cups energy, which is she's the Queen of Love. Yeah, she's emotionally intelligent, um, and she's she's very balanced in, in her life. I just flicked. Yeah, growth. Growth in that. We've got one more card, and then we'll start from that. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, Aries. You're a beautiful soul, yeah, because that's the energy you're in at the moment, which is like, um, she's the queen of love. She's emotionally and intuitively intelligent. She's, um, she's cups and emotion, but she's able to think, okay, because we have choice here. We have a choice here, but there's also balance and maybe needed, but we do have a stalemate, some sort of choice that needs to be made, okay? It needs to be made out of love because she is love, okay? And you'd need to make that from a value of knowing your worth, yeah? Um, especially without a, don't come at it with a greedy mindset, you know, money doesn't, money doesn't make the world go around, even though they say that, that does, you know what makes the world go around, a beautiful smile and happiness and positivity, because in the universe that I live in, what you give out is what you get in return. Um, we do have growth here in some sort of way, um, maybe that's the uh, personal growth, because she's holding on to a personal value, and he's growth, so it could be personal growth in itself, and that could be the balance that was needed in the first place in order to have that growth, and come at it from a loving aspect. We can see that you made a wish, and a strong wish at that, because there's some sort of pride there, and some sort of happiness, that she wears a heart close to herself, and she's holding on to that value, and you can see you your connection to the divine is absolutely beautiful at the present moment. Um, I may be talking to an extremely beautiful soul, um, somebody who has um, knowledge. That's the best way to say it. Um, an appreciation for the knowledge, an appreciation for life. You're very grateful for things you have. And, um, you know, you say you spend time with spirit enough all day to let be thankful for all the things that you have, you know. That's a lightning rod for somebody, you know. Inspirational. Eureka. A very, very beautiful thinker, Aries. Um, we do lead with um, desire, if that makes sense. Uh, we've got some sort of broken heart here, okay? So maybe somebody broke your heart, okay? But it did make you smarter, more wiser, more logical. We do have the two of swords there, which is choice. And in this stage, by the time that you get to this choice, we don't break it out of a broken heart, which, you know, we know our value and worth in life, yeah? And we can see that there's some sort of uh, painful ending in some sort of way that can hinder that choice because, like I said before, we come at choices with love, rather than um, egotistical uh, value. You can see in this card, there's two swords there, one right here and one right here, which shows when you get to this stage that you're wise enough and free enough with freedom and endurance in order to make that decision as long as you embrace the light because there's the light in that um, uh, beautiful dragonfly. But so those two of swords there shows that once we get to this choice, this choice here, that when you get to it, that you'll see that you'll have the growth in life and strength within yourself in order to do the right thing because she's hoped the card before that. Um, and that's using your logic, your intuition, I suppose, because she is intuition, you do have an intuition. Um, but that's logic in itself and using your brain in order to think think through the situations and not come at it with a broken heart. Um, we don't manifest things in our life um, uh, with, a, with, with bad or ill intention. And if we do uh, want to manifest things, we come at it with a beautiful heart. And that is the Holy Grail, yeah? It's like... Um, if you're waiting on a divine love in itself, we need to get through these painful endings. Um, yeah, they pull your heart in multiple directions. But having a broken heart still, if, if the most beautiful love was to come in tomorrow, Aries would um, stop you from getting that love because those are those are things that need to um, be put it, be addressed before we get anywhere. Yeah, that's clarity for somebody because that, that's the source of truth. And there is victory in that. I'm going to flick the deck here. Uh, beautiful. It's come straight back out. It's the multiple. Somebody has a choice to make. We can see two, same deck, uh, two different decks, same card. Uh, there's a choice to make, and, and and we make choices out of love. Hopefully, we do. If you come at it with your ego, so he's got a choice to make. You're planning something, um, some sort of way. If you come at it with ego, that's okay. That's just coming at it with your intelligence. Um, but uh, be flexible in your thoughts. That's 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 the best way to say it. Um, that's, be, that's that's a victory right there because the last card that come out, which I put on top of the uh, beautiful card here, is the victory and triumphancy and that victory, um, and that that is clarity. Yeah, we release any fears because there's a moon underneath that. It's like there's a. It's like when you make the choice. See, either makes the choice, you step off in the right direction and have the world in front of you. See, you make the choice. Um, you may not see the choice at the present moment, but you step off in the right direction, um, and then that is the victory and the triumphancy as you as you triumphantly go through it. 
beautiful. Somebody may have left you out in the cold. Somebody may have wished bad things upon you, Aries. Somebody may have wished homelessness, bad things, ill health, uh, sadness, things like that, okay? But you have overcome that because above that is the strength and the growth within that with the hope, okay? So that shows that whatever they wished for you wasn't going to happen. It was probably from a spoilt little brat, but that's okay. That spoilt little brat is not going to get what they want. The divine with that star above it shows you connection to the divine, like I was saying before. And it, literally, as I just said it then, the star, because you embrace your unconditional love. Now, where how do we manifest, right? We manifest out of this energy of unconditional love. When you have pure thoughts and you give out to the universe what you get back as a two-way receiving thing, yeah? You, we, especially when you're making wishes and you're balanced within those wishes with a pure heart and pure intentions as mother love as we are, uh, basically anything could come back to you and that's the truth. And we, we come at it with lot wise and logic. Um, we don't allow these things to trap us in our minds. And I'm guessing that that's trapped somebody in their mind that it didn't happen to you because we do have the, um, the these two cards together. And above that is the strength of that Leo energy, that lion there. Um, and those two cards together create a nine and in numerology, that's completion, which brings you back around to the new beginning. And in that is the transformation. Yes, you're a beautiful soul as we literally started with the Queen of Cups and we ended with the Queen of Cups. Now that I tried to do it again and these two cards came out. So that was the card we just did. And then as I tried to pull it up, that flicked and then these flicked with it. So it shows unconditionally loving, intuitively beautiful soul who's emotionally intelligent, yeah, who comes at things with the creative side rather than the dominant side okay and in that is your positivity and health um, and happiness because that's radiant positivity happiness and you can see the purity of that white horse there and also the strength is in in your purity because you can see the purity of that sacrifice there you may have made a lot of sacrifices in, in this type of um, situation where they left you out in the cold and made you feel like that but we're going to come through it with hope and positivity and unconditional love in our heart because she is unconditional love in itself she is the unconditionally loving heart as the all four queens build up the empress i don't have to be talking to a female i can talk to a male i'm just talking to the masculine to the feminine balance of the mindset um, we can see that there's positivity in that, that card there. It's extreme positivity as that's our radiantly beautiful sun. Um, and that's also a card of yes. So if you just asked a question in your head, the answer is yes. We're going to flick the decks at 7-Eleven. Uh, there may be some sort of legacy that you're creating at the present moment or just a legacy in your own beautiful heart areas. But um, beautiful things are coming to you. There's some sort of choice um, or some sort of duality of choices because you're going to make the right choice because as we step off into that too, it shows the world in front and then that's the victory, okay? They expected bad things for you. They may have expected um, ill health and, and all those bad things for you at 3, 3 on the clock. But as you can see, it just flipped and you have released that. You have released it because the hangman has come out, which is release, yeah? Release and that completes you, literally completes you. As I talk, it's, it literally spits out of the, the deck for you so we can put emphasis on it, what spiritual message we're giving. Um, you can see that we release and that completes you because as above it, see, I want to show you. As above it, it puts double emphasis on the world. See the world there, the world in front, and the choice we release in order to make the right choice. And in that is the victory. We can see it. the victory is there. Um, and we don't also ostracize ourselves and tell ourselves we can't, don't deserve these things. Um, and that's for sure. Um, Spirit's trying to pull you to calmer waters and may have taken hard work and determination to pull you through this sort of stuff. Um, with the ill health and things like that and ostracizing but as you can see there's a level up for you and in that level up is the download and you are the download as we learn through life uh, areas I only got a couple more cards to go um, but I just I want you to know you're a beautiful soul yeah you've taken a journey you have trusted in the universe that is a trust fall into the universe that is the the full stepping off on the journey and in that journey is something and it was probably hard okay because we do have uh, people not liking that above it um, here in the, you can see the little spoiled brat there yeah he rejected something uh, but we can see that in itself that there's hope as we lead towards that empress energy and it's not easy to get into that empress energy especially when we're in situations like that yeah because you're a warm confident beautiful leader or maybe talking to a working parent or a parent in general uh, but somebody very abundant abundant doesn't have to be money 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 uh, abundant can be like uh, that your smile is abundant to the universe because you create abundance when you walk down the street smiling um, and in that smile you change smile so therefore it gives you the justice uh, the justice is in your smile so therefore you get to have unconditional loving heart it's like I'm somebody who who's a bender in itself who's somebody who can use all the elements of um, emotion and uh, and love and um, inspiration of those ones and and intellect and truth of those swords and and 
and the pen and abundance of those pentacles and those air and the, what is it uh, the water fire air earth and air signs yeah but that's somebody who's able to use it and in that justice is itself yeah but we manage we manifest out of a positive heart yeah we don't allow uh, broken hearts to hold us back and we manifest out of a positive beautiful heart we're only going to go for one more reading okay you gotta be kidding me all right nine of materials right nine of materials which is underneath the deck is um because the last card on this one was the ten of pentacles which is this is nine of pentacles is somebody who's um inner peace has inner peace within themselves we started here uh if we have a look we start here right here we started on this side here with somebody in this energy which is the two of wands where the world's in front of you and the world was underneath it. And as we go through, you get pulled to karma waters or you get pulled through the rites of passage and traumatic experiences so we can release the shadows. They're hard work as we do it, but we step off in our journey and continue on. And that's the justice as we literally are manifesting in that magician energy and alchemizing with anything we want. And the spirit would like you to know for the last card of the reading that you were stepping in the right direction, okay? The three of wands is, the two of wands is somebody planning with the world in front of them. The three of wands is somebody actioning on that plan and stepping off in the right direction. Especially if I'm in this unconditionally loving, I'm going to show you the way the cards look here right in front of me so that way you can see it for yourself. See, when you hope and make a wish, we make it out of unconditional pure hearts, okay, because she's emotional intelligence and beautiful, um, and that gives you the radiance of that beautiful heart in order to have those beautiful things come in. Above it is the victory, which is in that heart. You see the heart's in the middle of the bowl there, which is a divine heart. You're a divine soul, and within that, you step off into the right direction. The whole thing is centered around you getting what you want in life areas, and have a lovely, beautiful day, and take care.